Uh, this is one of the most exciting crops. This is the Black Death. This is a superbug, MRSA. It looks kind of like bunches of grapes that stick together. This is E. coli. This is a very common bacteria. My job has never been boring. It's a fantastic job. But there is a problem with the job. There's a point at which you do hit a real glass ceiling. If you look at the career progression through academia, it's kind of around 50-50 male-female. And then you get to a point which is just before you hit tenure, and the number of women goes to around 10 to 20%, and the number of men goes to 80 to 90%. And trying to understand the reasons behind that is something that's really important. What we hope to accomplish today, bringing science to the streets, having an all-female speaker lineup to really show the public that these are all women doing this amazing science, to break down the stereotypes so that the face of science for them can become female as well. My name is Ayo Hansen. I'm working as an atmospheric dispersion scientist. The focus of my research is applying mathematical modeling to various problems related to healthcare and disease. My name is Dr. Amy Lusher. My presentation today is going to be talking about the distribution of plastics on our beaches and our shorelines, but talk about the breakdown of the large items of plastic into small items and explain that the smaller items are almost everywhere around the globe. It's vital that we get out into our communities around the UK to talk about the science that women do and also to provide role models for girls in our communities to show them that they could be the scientists of the future. The public get a chance to hear about science that they wouldn't otherwise hear about. I love seeing little kids really engaging with the science and getting into all their activities and, and coming away with this much better idea of what it is that scientists do. And the fact that they're all women is an added plus and hopefully change some ideas about what people think of when they think of a scientist. Often I'm used to the normal routine where we use presentations and we use slides and I thought it would be fascinating to actually use this brain and talk about regions of the brain that people can actually visualize rather than just go ahead and explain it using pictures. My name is Claire Burke. The area of research I'm talking about is astrophysics. My research is focused on the evolution of the most massive galaxies in the universe. When I was doing my GCSEs, I had a really inspiring physics teacher, and she told me about the life cycle of stars, and I was absolutely fascinated. And there were all these wonderful pictures of galaxies and stars in the universe, and I just wanted to study it. My name is Eleanor O'Brien, and I'm an evolutionary biologist. I'm interested in why species live where they do. Coming from India, it was quite difficult to find a scientific career and to actually grow up as an academic 10, 15 years ago. The ability to actually be resilient, which I learned as a part of my school upbringing, kept me believing that there is a point that you can grow and succeed in life. A message that I have for every woman who would like to be in science is be resilient. You will come across moments where you feel that you're the lone person walking on the road, but everyone is lonely at some point. And there's a beautiful sunset that's there for you to see and a place that has been reserved with your name for you to sit there and do your work.